What's up, you beautiful collectors and action figure fans? It's the one and only Optobotomus coming to you with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to the folks at Mattel, we're going to be taking a look at the new Jurassic World Rorivores Allosaurus. If you'd like to pick him up or any of the other new Jurassic World figures, they are available right now at Big Bad Toy Store. For the package, you have this really nice open display that actually lets you try the action feature. On the back of the package, you've got other figures that are currently available in this new Roravores line, as well as another image that showcases the sound and chomping action. Also, much like all of these new Jurassic World figures, you can use this toy in conjunction with the Jurassic World Facts app, which allows you to scan the bottom of the animal's foot and get some facts on the actual dinosaur. And here we have the Allosaurus opened up and out of his packaging. And, you know, a, a little bit of a story. Uh, I, I've always known about the Allosaurus uh, predominantly because of the old TV show called Dinosaucers. <laughs> Uh, the leader of the good guys was named Aloe, and he was an Allosaurus. So, for me, I always kind of looked at the Allosaurus as, like, the good guy among dinosaurs. And, honestly, looking at this, doesn't really look like that. <laughs> this is kind of an evil-looking dude. Uh, for a comparison here, or, well, size, so let's get him to stand. You're noticing one problem that I already have with this particular guy he does not want to stand all right so let's there we go let me zoom back a little bring out my trusty tape measure so from his snout to his tail he's about 13 inches long and in this configuration here you're looking at about six and a half or well, that's a i mean i know it, uh, the camera doesn't look like it but about six and a quarter inches tall and other people and see he's falling people have asked me to do comparisons with other uh jurassic figures uh here is the i, I still forget which one this is it's the the the, the chomping one you know that with the with the the chompy chomp chomp a chomp uh so for comparison here's uh how that looks uh, i don't know necessarily if that scaled properly i always thought that the allosaurus was a little bit bigger but um again my thought process on them was based on dinosaurs <music> so probably not a really good judge of things uh, but overall again really very cool looking uh, i don't know necessarily about these weird yellowish specks on him um it's there it, there appears to be like a little bit metallic of a paint in there it kind of looks cool it, it's it kind of just looks like splashes of paint on there though I, I feel like it's not blended in to create a i guess sp proper skin tone of sorts uh, but you have it on his back it comes across on the uh, head here uh, you have some ridges i don't know necessarily if these are considered horns uh, i know in my carnotaurus review i talked about how that that he was the only bipedal carnosaur that had horns and i have since been proven incorrect i am not a paleontologist despite the fact that i wish i was one uh, so i just go by memory and i don't remember a lot but i don't know necessarily if these are considered horns more so crest because i believe that these are still covered or scientists believe that these were still covered in skin so i don't necessarily think they qualify as horns but they're obvious ridges and one thing that's cool let me zoom in here Whoop, there we go uh real nice paint detail in there and you can see that the sculpt the detail looks really good uh but you got some red in there and then you got the yellow that's kind of highlighted around the edges of him you got yellow around his eyes yellow eyes the pupil uh you can see he's got a black tongue which is weird uh again i don't i, I don't know if they've ever actually uncovered a tongue to know if that's accurate uh but you got that little weird jaw tendon which i'm weirdly excited about uh, the yellow teeth on there looks really good I, I i i it's weird that it's 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 a black tongue uh i don't i don't get it i, I guess i just expect it to be red uh but there's nothing really that says that it has to be red i suppose uh, the biggest problem that i have with this guy or at least this figure is he he has a hard time standing unless you have his feet in a very specific 
pose, which is this. And you can see that it, it does get a little bit wobbly. A lot of it, I again, I talk about this. My table here is a little bit curved, so it does cause a little bit of problems. And honestly, in having him stand on a shelf, he's a little bit better. Uh, but you can see that. He stands on this way, but when I put it that way, and that's kind of where it dips in. So uh, it is a little bit or tricky to get him to stand. Uh, one thing I'm also noticing, though, is that they are a little bit looser of uh, uh, joints on them. But it, it feels as if this, uh, as, as I've talked about before, and you could hear the action feature, you can rotate them, but then when you bring them forward, they kind of lock uh, into place. So there feels like there's a specific place that they're supposed to be. And in lining them up, this is how I think they want him to be positioned. Um, I'm not a big fan of that, honestly. So I like lifting him up a little bit more, giving him a little bit more dignity uh, as a leader of the dinosaurs. <laughs> I guess, uh, but the articulation is, uh, you can see, it, it is uh, a little bit looser on my copy, so uh, bear that in mind, no, I didn't even notice that the little back calves have that yellow bit on there. Uh, for the rest of his articulation, the arms up here, you can see a little bit longer than, say, a T-Rex or a Carnosaurus, much longer than that guy. Uh, you got some claws on there, you got some nice black paint here, the paint is lacking on the claws on these uh, little upper arms, but it is what it is. Uh, but you can see that they hinge in and out so he can do the chicken dance. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. Yep, having fun. Uh, and then they also do swivel. Uh, nothing at the tail. Uh, that is, uh, I, want, I, I don't remember if that was a separate piece or not, but if it is, you just plug it in there. Now, this is, uh, again, I, I do like the way that he looks. Don't get me wrong. Um, probably my least favorite of the ones that i've taken a look at so far i like that he's molded with his mouth open but he does have this action feature as you can see you got the button here which is nicely blended in as well you can see that it's a button but the paint detail looks pretty good with it you push it down and he closes his mouth and you go through i'm going through the sound so you can hear him But like that, you got a yelling sound. I wish that the default position was his mouth closed, and then you push the button, and that opens his mouth. Uh, I, for display, I think it looks pretty good with his mouth open like that. I like having my dinosaurs uh, with their mouths open, uh, if they can be open. But I think for the action feature, I wish that the button made the mouth open. Uh, that would be a lot better, I think. And then you can... Hello. Oh, and it's kind of... But it's like, and pushing it, you, you cycle through. So, yeah, I, I wish that the uh, action feature was reversed on it. Uh, I know my buddy JT Mitchell actually reviewed this as well and brought up the same point. And I, I definitely agree with him. I think that uh, in terms of the just playability, it would make more sense to have his mouth be closed. And then you push it and then you get the sounds uh, in general. It's not bad, but I feel it could be better. Okay, so coming over to the Jurassic World Facts app. Let's get the screen record going. So there's that and launch the program. Do, 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 do. Loading it up. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we're going to scan the bottom of the foot. So bring up the little scanny. We got the foot. Again, you have the uh, little logo for Jurassic World and then the little scanty guy on that foot. So bringing that in and and sending him over there. And there is the buddy Allosaurus himself. You can go around snapping his mouth and everything. Uh, again, I love the fact that the coloring on the app is the same as the toy. I think that's terrific. Let's take a look at the... Uh, and again, I wish that you could rotate it just to get it like a 360 of the dinosaur that would be really cool if they did that so looking at the facts uh we have all of these open up because you remember 
I unlocked a few. So the Allosaurus is 28 feet long and six and a half feet high. So that makes sense uh, with with this guy. Uh, well, he's much taller here, being uh, smaller than the T-Rex. So that scale works pretty good. It's just my mind with dinosaurs is messed up. Uh, taking a look, uh, her powerful neck muscles can swing her head extremely fast. The next one, her name Allosaurus means different lizard. All right. Uh, this is a new one here. She is a carnivore feeding on other dinosaurs. Well, duh. And the last one is Allosaurus can open her mouth wider than 90 degrees. That's very interesting. I, I did not know that, but uh, the toy here really doesn't um, kind of display that. So that's, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, now let's go to the quizzes. Let's do a couple quizzes here. Uh, let's do some more personality stuff. See if I can unlock a few more, just having a little bit of fun here. The Sukumimus. Oh, that's right. Sukumimus may make crocodile-like bellows and hisses. Let's say true. There we go. Good so far. The intelligence of the Minmi is believed to be quite low because her brain is so small compared to her body. I'm going to say false. So far, I'm one for one. The, the, the Dilophosaurus travels in small social groups like families. True. I remember that from the last video. I learned that. The crest on the top of, of the Monolophosaurus isn't for combat, but is, for, uh, is a display structure meant to attract members of her own species. I'm going to say true. There we go. So far, so good. The Stegosaurus is calm and peaceful dinosaur. She walks only three to four miles per hour. All right, another true one. What is the purpose of the Carnotaurus horns? Uh, means to identify each other, handy back scratchers, weapons against enemies. I think it's, yeah, to identify each other. That's what they think. The Gallimimus is quite tranquil and much like a modern ostrich, runs away when faced with danger. True. The, uh, the Sinoceratops primarily communicates using roars. False. So, so far, I'm doing pretty good. I'm impressed. How does the Triceratype tops like to live? I don't know. Uh, she lives in herds. We don't really know for sure. She is solitary. I'm going to say we don't know for sure. Because, <laughs> yeah, we don't know how she likes. The Ceratosaurus doesn't have to compete with any other species for food or territory. I'm going to say false. Uh, the Sinoceratops is a social dinosaur that lives in large herds. True. And the last question. In the film, how does Blue interact with others? Um, no, all right, I got that wrong last time, too. I, but I won, so pretty good. Let's see what I, uh, I have uh, upped the, uh, the badge, personality traits, and I won 100 points. So I think I pro that'll probably let me... I've been promoted to a paleo, paleo veterinarian. Okay, fancy words. Uh, I knew unlocked new facts by the Dimorphodon, uh, the Gallimimus, the Herahasaurus, Herahasaurus, Pteranodon, and that's it. So let's get that. So there we go, uh, unlocking some new facts along the way. Uh, but for the Allosaurus here, uh, I, I mean, I did mention that it's probably my least favorite so far. Um, it's not that it's bad. I, I just, I, I, I just, I, I'm not a big fan of the color scheme that's going with it. I think that the standing here is kind of annoying, but it feels a little bit better when I put her this way. She stands okay. Uh, I feel like the, the standing is something that is going to vary from, uh, creature to or from figure to figure so your results may vary with her but uh i like her i think if you're rounding out a collection she's a nice one to have if you are kind of pinched for space she's probably one that i would pass on in favor of some other more exciting ones i guess but uh beyond that guys if you're looking for her she is available right now at various retailers or as always there's big bad toy store so for that, all you have to do is click on the link down in the video description. You go to BBTS where you can check out availability on her as well as the rest of the wide range of new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Remember, if you like this video, I would really appreciate your support and letting me know 
by hitting that thumbs up button. It actually does go a long way towards helping me out and I would really appreciate it. Also, if you're new here, welcome. And before you go, make sure you subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you already subscribed, now more than ever it's important to make sure that you're getting those email notifications. We all know just how unreliable that YouTube subscription box is and the best way to help support my channel and not miss any future reviews of mine is to click on that little bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And a very special thanks to you if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch a video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. And finally, remember, the real trouble with the world is too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.